People who wear traveler's attire are confident about the size of their penis. Sidestep that shit, parry, damn! It looks like a condom for your head. What the f***, right? This is the real way to play this game, bro. This is the wrong way to play this game. But they don't tell you this in the official guide because they don't want to hurt your feelings. Listen to an Asian person. This is way better. This is way better. This is me being a badass. Like, how are you terrified of a guy with a mustache? When I see a mask like that, I think of my grandfather and I'm like, oh, he's an old man. Like, I don't want to hurt him. And if you wear a mask like this, it's like, hey, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Why, why do people wear this back in the day, right? Like, what, what purpose does that give you? It looks like a condom for your head. What the fuck, right? <laughs> Isn't this the dumbest outfit ever? Like, safety up here, no safety down here, bro. Let me see, what's the dumbest thing I can wear? <laughs> Oh, it's going Saints Row in this game. Yo, exactly. I just came up with this outfit today, right? Like, I try to keep it fresh. Like, every single stream, I come up with something new. But the thing that you can be guaranteed is I always wear a bucket on my head, right? I got different buckets for my head, bro. This is the KFC in, like, a different part of the island. And this is a KFC in a different part of the island. So once I'm done eating all that KFC, I use that bucket as a hat. And that's how you know that I'm actually a legendary samurai. Because legendary samurais always look poor. You can't have a rich samurai. It's fake. You don't look believable, son. You gotta be poor. You can't wear any like rich clothes, right? Like if I wear this, that's not legendary. You gotta go with this. So that's why I wasn't like, really feeling Tada Yori's armor because I'm like the bed chamber guard of some Korean palace. You know what I mean? Like I'm the dude that I have to taste the king's food before he eats it. That's not legendary. Legendary is being poor. Let me show you like what's the best legendary outfit if you want to look like the greatest ronin of all time. I'm gonna show you this setup real quick. This is a setup no other Twitch streamer will teach you, right? This is a setup only legendary samurais will have. This is some legendary samurai. Your cape floats in the wind. You're a reasonable traveler, you know? This is the best outfit ever. Targaryen says Gosaku armor is for offensive playstyle like staggering enemies. Like, I guess you're right. It's for offensive playstyle. But if you really think about it, if you compare an offensive playstyle to a pairing playstyle, right? A pairing playstyle takes users' brains. A offensive playstyle uses brute force. Like, you are like that guy at the front of the army who's like, Duh, all I want to hit is people. Uh, uh, uh. You know, you don't like fucking like, like samurai, right? Fucking wait for that attack to come. Sidestep that shit, parry, damn, you can't touch me, bitch. You know, that's like some next level skill. If you use this, you guys go in like, Ooh, attack, 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 attack. Like, how's that cool? How's that cool? Tell me one samurai movie that actually does that shit. I challenge you. Find me one Akira Kurosawa movie that actually does that bullshit, bro. Like, look at anime in general, like Samurai X. Like, Ruroin Kenshin is like, yo fucking slice that dude that's like parry right you don't get some dude wearing this fucking armor like hey let me do heavy attack 10 times man just saying bro but if you like this armor it's cool only real ogs will go for this this is the real way to play this game bro this is the wrong way to play this game but they don't tell you this in the official guide because they don't want to hurt your feelings i'm an asian person right if there's any advice you should take about like being a samurai listen to an asian person it's in my blood bro i'm not parry god by accident man it's like like my bloodline it's like sharing gun you know i you have to be born with that shit gosaku is tanky yeah but why do you want to be tanky if you can be skillful at, at most i think like I, I i prefer this as a samurai armor actually the colors are actually very simplistic and pretty especially if you go for warrior's darkness this one is very very nice this is asian approved yeah this is asian approved i'm asian so i approve it so if you guys got any outfit ideas it's not official until i approve it this is nice man this in, this outfit is so much more badass i think it's like the color combination the design right if i wear gosaku's armor it's like i don't know like what's the difference actually the shoulder pads are about the same oh gosaku is actually bigger in everything like the shoulder pads are bigger man what you trying to compensate for bro like if you're really truly confident about how big your dick is go for traveler's attire people who wear traveler's attire are confident about the size of their penis like this looks like something a general would wear right and this is like something like a, a foot clan soldier would wear because there's no vest to let people know you important but i don't know like if you think about like building your legend as a samurai right you don't want to start off as a general every samurai movie out there nobody gets anywhere when they start out as a general general usually ends up getting killed they gotta start out like as a ronin or as a traveler like even the broken armor has like way more personality than like the other armors
Jason says, I finished the game on lethal wearing only the traveler's attire. I had no idea how confident I am in my penis. You're super confident, bro. You're super confident. It's a good thing you kept your belt like really tight on that traveler's attire. Because if that shit was loose, your dick would drop to the ground. And it would be like a loud shattering like explosion, bro. Dude, trust me, bro. I know this because I'm Asian. So like, this is Asian shit. Come on, guys. You gotta claim ownership of your own shit. If you were born like the Nordic region, I guess you can claim like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If I was playing that game and I, I selected an armor that was like not your liking, you'd be like, hey son, that's not Nordic official approval, man. And I would be respectful. I would be like, hey man, I I respect you, bro. You got it. You got it, man. But you no, know, this is in my realm. You guys are coming to my realm. I'm a master of this shit. They should have made this like way bigger, you know? The Make it like really big. And you'd be super tight if like, you know, when you do like a finisher move, like the heavenly strike, like you just fucking slice some dude and like the hat flies. And then like, you literally have to walk back to your hat and pick it up and put it back on. You know, that shit is like, man, take some notes guys. Make sure you want to like send this video to Sucker Punch because I know how to make the game 10 times better for the second game. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. I've been streaming for a lot of hours these days. I think today I'm approaching eight hours stream again. You know what, guys? I think I might take tomorrow off. Are you guys cool with that? It's Tuesday? I thought today was Thursday. Holy shit. This is how often I've been streaming, bro. I've been streaming so often that I don't even know what day it is anymore. Like, my schedule is like eat, sleep, stream, talk shit in my Discord. Yo, I'm going super strong, bro. Check out them muscles.